Yo, 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 this your boy, the River Court, coming at you, man. Be talking about some NFL, man. My Dallas Cowboys, man. Got a tough matchup coming up against these Philadelphia Eagles, man. It was uh, week nine of the NFL, NFL schedule, man. Sunday night football. Division rivalry, you know what I mean? Eagles coming in. Uh, they looking for a W, no doubt about it, you know what I mean? We, we trying to get a, get that W. We still in, in, still in the mix for the division, no doubt. You don't want a scoreboard watch, you know what I mean? I think the Giants are what four and four as far as our, as far as the NFC East. I think the Giants are four and four. They're uh, they're coming down here to Central Florida. Matter of fact, to play the Bucks, James Winston in the Bucks. Um, you know that game could go either way. Maybe hopefully James James who's been playing better. He's been playing better as of late, taking taking care of the ball. Maybe they can pull out pull out that W against the Giants. The Redskins they, they up in Foxborough against them Patriots. They should that should be an L. <laughs> then you know if if we beat the Eagles, you no know, we three and five. The Eagles will be three and five, and then we would have beaten the Eagles twice already. So we will be right back in the mix for the division. I'm not saying we're out of it now, you know what I mean? But we're right back in the mix for the NFC East, and we got Romo coming up soon. Coming, we're well, coming back soon. You know what I mean? So a, a, a winnable game, winnable game. You got uh, was it was it Benny Logan giving a giving a bullet. Bulletin board material, you know what I'm saying, that the Cowboys, a bunch of crybabies, we whine and complain about everything, not us, but the players, <laughs> you know, so, you know, it is what it is, you know, I mean, we think about the Eagles coming to Big D, you know, you can't help but, you can't help but to think back to that beatdown they put on us last year on Thanksgiving night, you know, uh, when they came into Dallas and they, 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 they beat us down. And with the Eagles, and we did go up to Philly a couple of weeks, about two weeks later, and we did, we did, we, we beat them pretty handily. You know, Dad scored three touchdowns on, on Bradley Fletcher, and Eagles fans was upset. <laughs> you know, they were upset. Boy, it feels good when the Eagles fans are mad. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, anyway, man, um, that Thanksgiving game, you know, Fletcher Cox, <clears throat> every time we play with the Eagles, the first name I mentioned for the Eagles is Fletcher Cox. We got to control Fletcher Cox. We got a great offensive line. Our offensive line has looked better with Lyle Collins. You know what I mean? I, I like Lyle Collins, man. You know what I mean? First round, there's a lot of first round talent in our offensive line. Right guard, Doug Martin, center, Travis, Travis Frederick, Lyle Collins, who went undrafted, but was a first round talent. You know, first round draft talent. Tyron Smith, first round, first round pick. So, Best offensive line in football, in football, basically. But, you know, the Eagles' defensive line is no joke. Say Fletcher Cox dominated us on um, Thanksgiving Day last year. And then when we went up to Philly, we did I think our per carry average was like three, like almost two, you know. So Fletcher Cox, um, Benny Logan, Vinny Curry, Connor Barman, I mean, those guys come to play, man. They come to play. And they're gonna make our offensive line work. I Man, that the Eagles' defensive line has always tested us. You know what I'm saying? And start off with Fletcher Cox, man. We have to control Fletcher Cox. You know, we have to get the running game going. We got we got to have some type of running game and keep the running game, you know, consistent. You know, um, what concerns me is that the Eagles, if I'm not mistaken, they lead the league in. Take their defense and takeaways and turnovers. I think like 20 or 19, 20, 21. Something like that. I think it's like 19 or 20. They're leading the lead. And Matt Castle, you know, our, our quarterback, Matt Castle, he has been throughout his career in the Giants game. He has been known to give the ball to the other team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Throwing them picks. And our defense, our defense, I believe we only have four turnovers, four turnovers, you know, um, on the year, which isn't good. But I do think our defense will – uh, even though we're two and five, I mean, lost five straight. It's not because of our defense. Even though the, the, the Patriots came in, they dropped thirty on us, but our defense did nothing. We scored two field goals, but other than that, other than those two drives, our offense did absolutely nothing against the Patriots. Yeah, and, and I don't care how good your defense is, I mean, if you are constantly, constantly on the field against the Patriots and Tom Brady, you're gonna give up something, you know. But for the most part, all year, our defense has been solid, man. Defense has the only concern, the issue with the defense, we're not getting turnovers. 
interceptions, forced fumbles, any type of turnover. We're not, we're not doing that so our offense can have a short field. Special teams and things like that, man. They get flipped that field position, you know. Uh, so we can't turn the ball over. You know, um, say that every game. If I'm not mistaken, we had no turnovers against the Seahawks and we still lost, you know. <coughs> Offense has to be better, man. We we, we we can't be just selling for field goals, scoring ten and twelve points. You know, we we you know we get we get Dez back. He's slowly working him his way back, man, coming off the broken foot. You know, we probably gonna be tough to run against Dutcher Cox and them boys. You know, it's it's, it's because it's, 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 with DeMarco last year, you know, we had a hard time running the ball against the Eagles. And now we've got no Darren McFadden because no, no Joe Randall. Now we've got Darren McFadden and, you know, and C. Mike Christian Michaels. We'll, we'll see how that works because Darren McFadden didn't go crazy against the, the Seahawks. And overall, the Seattle Seahawks defense is better than the Eagles, but the Eagles defensive line is legit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Say Fletcher Cox, man, and, and, and uh, Vinny Curry and Vinny Logan and Connor Barron and those boys. They're, they're for real. I mean, they're, they're, they're legit, man. I do think our offensive line can hold up. I mean, Darren McFadden, I mean, can, can he play a, a rough physical game like he did against the Giants? You know, the Giants' defense isn't is as physical. The defensive line, especially, is nowhere near as physical as the Eagles. So can he handle 29, 30 carries, play a physical brand of football? Because out in Oakland, you know, he was <laughs> – He's, you know, he, he's not known, doesn't have the best track record of staying healthy. So that, that'll that be tough. We're going to need that. So, you know, because see the, the Eagles, man, they're getting these turnovers. They're getting these turnovers, man. They play fast all over. That's what Chip Kelly loves to do, offensive defense. He loves to play fast. You know, they're flying around the field. So we're going to take, have to take care of the ball, man. I think our defense will play because – when we played them week two, which is our last win, week two against you know up in Philly, their running backs, I think Sproles, Matthews, and, and, and Demarco, I think all three total for like negative what two yards, three yards, negative negative something, I believe. Now I'm not expecting, even though with with Rolando McClain, who isn't playing that well, and with Greg Hardy, and you know, let me speak to Greg Hardy. You know, most of you guys probably saw the pictures that got released. Oh, he's domestic violence, you know what I mean? <sighs> I already made a video recently about, about all the, the the distractions that the Cowboys got going on besides losing five in a row. I'm 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 not even gonna touch on Greg Hardy. I'm not even just unfortunate. It, it, it's it's unfortunate, you know. But anyway, even with Greg Hardy and Rolando McClain, you know, I'm still it's hard to say, yeah, go out and you know hold his team to negative two rushing yards. It's the NFL. <laughs> you know, it's hard to expect something like that. But I do do think our defense can hold them under 100 rushing yards. I do believe that. And I do believe Sam Bradford can turn the ball over as well. <laughs> I think he threw up two in his – I think he threw at least one to Sean Lee. So he, he can – you know, we, we can get some turnovers in this game as well. It's just that – can Matt Castle – I mean, I mean – I. I'm a Cowboys fan, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, I don't really have a lot of faith in Matt Castle. I, I really, you, you know, just being honest. I, I got I got to be honest. I mean, I'm not, I mean, like I say, the, it's a winnable game. I say this every week. I'm, it's, this is another winnable game. It's another winnable game. You know, just like last week, the week before, you know what I mean? Winnable, you know what I mean? We only gave up 13 points to the Seahawks, and we still lost <laughs> our point. You give up 13 and you still lose, you know. So, this this is another winnable game. Our defense will give us a chance. Quarterback play. I, I don't I don't know. You know, with, with Matt Castle, I, I don't know. You know, uh, I mean, I'm not sleeping easy at night knowing I got Matt Castle as my quarterback. Yeah, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? It's Matt Castle. Matt Castle is Matt Castle. You know. A winnable game, man. This is another winnable game. Man, if we get this W some kind of way, Jameis Winston beat the Bucks. I mean, beat the Giants. <coughs> Redskins up in New, uh, New England playing the Patriots. You know, we'll be 3-5 if we win. And uh, the Eagles will be 3-5. We have, uh, we will beat them twice, you know what I mean? 
Well, we right right back in the mix for the division. I say, I, f I don't think we're going to get the wild card, but we're right back in the mix for the NFC East division. You know, I think it's going to be NFC East or are we home for all the NFC East teams, you know, <coughs> in my opinion. But Matt Castle, I mean, I, I, it, it boils down to Matt Castle. I mean, you don't want to put all the pressure on, on your quarterback. But it's just, you know, over the, going back to last year and even this year, you know, with the Eagles' defensive line, you know, they're, they're not giving up not too much in the running game. That defensive line is serious. I mean, Vinnie Curry and them boys, and Fletcher Cox, they're, they're serious. They're serious business, man. So, you know, we, we're, we're going to try to run, keep that balance. Um, you know, when, when, it, when it's time to throw, you know, see, they're, they're leading the league in, in takeaways. Their defense is, you know, they're getting the turnovers. Um, so, Matt Castle, <laughs> like I said, I, I don't have – yeah, I got Matt Castle. I feel good. No, 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 I don't. You, you know what I'm saying? But it's a winnable game. This is a winnable game, man. Our defense will give us a shot. No doubt. I, I think our defense can get some, a few turnovers off Sam Bradford. I think Greg Harder can get maybe a, a, a sack force fumble. We can get a pick in him because to the Eagles offense, a lot of it is in the middle of the field. And every now and then they'll take a deep shot, you know, so, uh, but it's usually in the, in the middle of the other field, 10 to 15 yards and under. 15 yards and under in the middle of the field. That's where a lot of their passing plays, crossing routes, hitches, curls, things like that. And, you know, and their their running game isn't a power running game. It's finesse. That's Chip Kelly loves speed and finesse. You know, with the Greg Hardy and the, and the McLean now, I can see us controlling that running game. I definitely like our secondary, which matched up match up with their receivers. You know, um I mean Sam Bradford, Matt Castle, I mean <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about Sam Bradford because I'm not an Eagles fan. I can care less. But uh you know Matt Castle, man. It is what it is. You know, he it is what it is. Winnable game, man. There's another winnable game, you know what I'm saying? That gives me hope. Uh, we're not we're playing at home. We don't play well at home even with Romo. Whatever reason, we just don't play well at home. But this is another winnable game, man. Sunday night football, winnable game. You know, can 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 get us on the right track. Beat these Eagles three and five. We're right back in the mix for the division. Right back in the mix with Romo coming back right around the corner, man. You know, another winnable game, man. Anyway, man, let me know what you guys think, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, Cowboys Nation, man. We, we, we can't, we can't, you know, we, we've, we're, the hole is deep. We've dug ourselves in a deep hole. You know, we lose this game, a, a divisional game. We, we drop six straight, two and six. Then you got to start thinking, well, does it even matter when Romo gets back? You know, let me know what you guys think, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, Matt Castle, man, I, I don't. Defense to give us a shot, Matt Castle, I don't know. I just, I'm just being completely honest, Cowboys Nation. Matt Castle, as our quarterback, I just don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. But the game is winnable. I don't I, I don't know, man. That's, that's, I, try to be, <laughs> I try to be more optimistic and you know, break these things down. Defense is going to give us a shot. But even if it does give us a shot, we're putting the ball in the hands of Matt Castle. And I just don't know. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. Cowboys Nation, let me know what you guys think, man. This your boy, the real McCoy, man. And, uh, you know, Sunday Night Football. We'll see. <laughs> I'm out, man. Peace.